A very warm good evening to my fellow Toastmasters and future Toastmasters. Before I begin, I would like to thank you all for attending this session on a Saturday evening. And if I could just get a shout out and know that everybody is still with me, it would be amazing. So is everybody still with me? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. amazing. Yes. Perfect. So let's begin. My name is Toastmasters Devna Pandey, and I'm going to present on Distinguished Club Program, which is also commonly called as DCP. So what is DCP? Let me take an example of two clubs, Club A and Club B. Now, Club A is a club which doesn't really plan all its meeting, doesn't support all its members, or doesn't encourage most of its members to speak up. On the other hand, Club B is a club that pushes each member to perform, pushes each member to go one level up the leadership, leadership skills and public speaking skills. And they plan all the meetings in advance. So which club would you want to be a part of? Club A or Club B? B. If anyone could answer that? Club B. Club B. Okay, perfect. So with that, comes in Distinguished Club Program. So it ensures that each club provides its members with a consistently high quality experience. As Toastmasters Midun already told us that a, a Toastmaster International Organization places its member on the top of a pyramid. So keeping that in mind, Toastmasters have included Distinguished Club Program. It also helps a club to provide an environment where members can learn speaking and leadership skills. So how do we really go about a DCP? So in order to have this in place, Toastmasters International have separate goals for each DCP. And these are then classified into four parts, which is education, membership, training, and administration. So what is education? Now imagine if you want to attend a club meeting and you do not plan the speeches, how would you give your speeches or how would you conduct a meeting? So that is where education and planning comes in. Membership, now let's take an example. Let's say there's a club with five or six members and there are 10 roles to be taken up. So would that club be able to provide the listeners, the guests, its members with sufficient number of people to take up the roles? No, so more the merrier. The club will have better chances to fill all roles. Next is training. So let's take an example of today's training. If all of us weren't trained, we wouldn't have been able to train you as well. So that is where training comes in. Last but not the least is administration, wherein people take care of the submission of dues, renewals and club officers list on time, and which helps the club to run smoothly. So now that we have the goals in place, how do we really track whether these goals are being met or not? So for that, Toastmasters International have placed certain awards and certain tracking criteria to keep each club on track. Now, what you see on my screen is a screenshot of our very own club's snippet. So we have to date 41 base members and for this year, we have not met any goals. So now it is on you guys to take up all these roles very frequently and help us win the goals. So what are these goals and how are these bifurcated into the four criteria that I presented in the screen previous to this? So first comes education. So as those masters up and up mentioned that there are certain levels in a pathways. So whenever somebody completes a level or n number of people complete a level in a club, that club gets awarded certain points. So in case of education, when someone completes level one, the club would get one point, but how many people need to complete that level in order for that club to get a point? The answer is four. Level two award, two people need to complete. More level two awards, so for example, if more than two people complete, then also a club wins a point. So that has to be two more people. Level three, Again, two people, level four, five, and DTM. If one person completes either of these, the club will be awarded one point. So what 
apart from education there are three more criteria a uh, three more categorization which on which a club can win these uh, goals so that that next is membership in which new members and more new members when when these members are inducted the club would win the points so how many members need to be inducted in order to win that point the answer here is four next is training in training the club officers people who hold the positions such as president immediate past presidents vp education vp pr and so on so forth they all have to attend trainings in order to help the club proceed in a certain way so whenever these position holders attend this training which is conducted twice the club is awarded points and last but not the least is administration in administration the dues have to be submitted on time and the club officers list has to be submitted on time now what is the time frame to win each of these point so toastmasters year start from july and ends in june end so in one year we have to win all these awards and faster the better so now all of you would be wondering is this even possible can we win all these awards in one year time frame so the answer is yes and just to give you an example glt dubai toastmasters club our very own club was the first club in the district to achieve 9 points in the previous years and one bonus point for all of you all so if you complete minimum 3 levels by june you guys will also get a triple crown award so to conclude a club success how is it measured it is measured by its members achievement and when does a member win when he or she participates enjoys attending the meeting takes up roles and helps others win as well so that is when a club succeeds so now how can we do all of this how do we ensure that each one of us is participating in the meetings so please plan your speeches we have shared the planner with you you can look at the planner and see okay these dates or slots are available these roles are available and i can take up these roles please fill up those roles whenever being asked upon or just fill the planner in case you have any doubt you can reach out to me or you can reach out to your mentors